And now for a reading from the Social Justice Warrior Bible with Pastor Gregory Post. Welcome in. I'm Gregory Post, head pastor at the Eternal Living Word Transdenominational Community Church and Coffee House in Nevada, California. And now it's time once again for another reading of the SJW Bible. Today's story is going to be about how Naaman was cured of his leprosy in 2 Kings chapter 5 verses 8 through 14. And it says, It happened when Elisha, the man and or woman of God, depending on how he identified at the time, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes, and he sent word to the king, saying, Why have you torn your clothes? Now let him come to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horse and his chariots, which were sustainably raised and emitted no greenhouse gases, and stood at the doorway of the house of Elisha. Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh will be restored to you, and you will be clean. Not that I am implying that you were dirty just because you were a leper. That would be leper shaming. But Naaman was furious and went away, saying, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God, and wave his hand all over the place and cure the leper. Are not Abana and Paphra and the rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in rage. Then his servants came near and spoke to him, saying, Wow, that Elisha guy is such a xenophobic jerk. Where does he get off implying that the rivers in Israel are better than the rivers in our country? That nationalist jerk probably believes in Israeli exceptionalism too. So then God spoke to Naaman directly and said, Naaman, I am so sorry for being intolerant and not accommodating enough. I should never have asked you to have to go and do something to be cured. You believe in me, and since purification comes from faith only, I'll just go ahead and heal you right here and now. And from that hour forward, his flesh was cured, and they all went out to try some local craft beer. Wow, so inspirational. Thank you for listening to this reading of the SJW Bible. And remember, the only truth that matters is your truth.